All right, this video we're talking about how to utilize the and the if function in Microsoft Access. Uh, Microsoft Access is kind of kind of odd with the way they name the if function is I I F or the immediate if function. So anyway, without any further ado. I have a table here called DBL orders. Again, you can download this on vbahowto.com. Uh, you can download the, the database, the sample database. This one is a, uh, actually, uh, we're going to simulate a dump from a, from a mainframe. So a mainframe, this particular table is 81,000 rows. And uh, we have a, here, we have the description of the item, the order order number these field names are uh, just something that you're gonna probably get from a mainframe uh, you're gonna find out your <clears throat> you're gonna need to find out your primary key uh, here I have my quano this is the amount that I have on order somebody actually ordered this amount and somebody uh, these are the amount available to me so these are the two columns I'm particularly interested in the amount ordered and the amount available and let's say somebody asked me one of the managers asked me for a report saying hey uh, give me a report of uh, things that we need to order because we need to update our database and uh, we have an order for these particular items so we need to pull out from this table uh, was on order right now so let's use the immediate if function for that or the IIF function if I look over here, I have a query and called QRY orders. And in the query, I'm saying I'm pulling out some certain fields here. Let's go into design view on this. From the TBO orders table, I'm pulling down the order so I know which item to order, the product number, because uh, these are all kind of, these are duplicated, but this is unique. I have the quantity on order the quantity available to me and then I do want to know well uh, what is what is order uh, what is order a bowl right now or what do I need a what 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 needs to be ordered right now so I'm using this immediate if function so I'm saying I have and then I have my condition quano is not equal to quana okay it's kind of confusing uh, the terminology that is so I have a quantity ordered if it's not equal to the quantity available okay I have my true condition order otherwise okay so I have my quantity on order if it's not equal to quantity available order it if not okay and then I have my I have a little uh, another little if function Okay, I'm going to scroll over here to the side. Now, if I do say I'm ordering it, okay, my criteria here is I'm filtering for anything on order after I do my little slogan, my little uh, verbiage up here. If the quantity is that I need to order it, how many do I need to order? So then I'm doing a quantity on order or quantity ordered minus quantity available and then I'm getting the quantity I need to order and then I can produce a report and I have it available to me so I'm running the query by clicking the excavation point in the uh, design uh, design area okay and if you don't know where that's at that's right under the uh, home if I go into design view I can I can see this okay design view and right up here that's in the on the design tab okay there's the each point to run the query okay and I'm running the query right now and bang I have my these are the 2845 items I need to order and the amount I need to order notice that um, that query does for the zero that's available, but let's say I have 20 in stock. Uh, 120 minus 20, I didn't order 100 of them. 
so I want to balance out this this whole sheet here so uh, hopefully that helps again you can get the database and you can get the code for this for this particular uh, video out on the site at vbahowto.com and thanks for watching bye bye